This summer has seen one of Australia's worst bushfire seasons. The scale of the disaster is enormous. Let's first take a look at all the fires that have erupted since the season began in September. Today, there are fewer fires, but 128 are still burning across New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia. More than 10 million hectares of land have been burned so far. That's approximately, approximately 140 times the size of Singapore. In fact, it, it would cover a wide area of Indonesia and Malaysia as well. More than 1,800 homes have been destroyed. Thousands of residents have been forced to evacuate. Some experts estimate that half a billion animals have perished. Others have been displaced and injured, devastating decades of conservation efforts. People on the ground have been struggling to contain the blazes for months now. More than 70,000 of volunteer firefighters have been on the front line, and this week they were joined by 3,000 Army reservists who have been called up for the first time in the country's history. Firefighters from Singapore, New Zealand, America and Canada have also joined the efforts. Now, Australia is no stranger to bushfires, but conditions this season have been unusually severe. Extremely hot and dry weather has fueled the rapid spread of the fires. Experts believe the main cause is a climate change, which has changed the surface temperature of the Indian Ocean, a phenomenon known as the Indian Ocean Depole. The temperatures of the sea surface is warmer in the western half of the ocean and cooler in the east. Now, this has resulted in more rainfall and flooding in eastern Africa and droughts in Southeast Asia and Australia.